Hey guys, this is Ryan Denson, also known as the Boston Beer Guy. I hope you're doing well and having a great Friday. Uh, please follow me on all social media at Boston underscore beers. Um, welcome to episode two of Frosty Boy Fridays, where we'll shotgun a beer and then uh, we'll rate a beer. And the shotgun is more of a palate cleanser, as, uh, as I found out. Um, I am lucky enough to have a special guest on this episode, uh, Will Tondo, who is the co-founder of the House Enterprise blog, which we both work on. So, Will, thank you so much and uh, welcome. Thanks for having me, Ron. I'm excited. This will be a good, good way to start off the weekend. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, as every good start, uh, we always are going to do a, um, a nice shotgun. So, we'll prepare and get ready um, to do this. So, well, we'll do this right here. Apologize for the teeth. I lost my keys. It's okay. Uh, Will's also coming off of tonsil surgery, so uh, please don't trip him too hard if his uh, shotgun isn't that great. It's been a while, but... <laughs> awesome. Let me All know. Right, I'm ready. You ready to I'm go? I'm ready you are. All right. Three, two, one. Cheers, guys. Oh. Hey. That was good for someone who just had tonsil surgery. Can't complain. Absolutely love it. All right, so let's get the review started. Um, excellent. So today what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be reviewing Shoveltown Brewery's Fly Away. Now, this beer actually was told by me by Will. He basically said, hey, I have these great beers. I definitely want to try them out. So Shoveltown is actually um, – based in Northeast in Massachusetts. Uh, they've been around for a few years now. They got around 50 beers on tap. Um, this specifically is the Flyaway New England IPA. Um, and I specifically will be drinking out of the Trillium 2020 uh, 2K, or sorry, 5K glass. Uh, will, what are you drinking out of? Uh, just a plain clear glass today. Excellent. Uh, all my stuff's in my apartment. Yeah, I'm currently back at home in Long Island and uh, brought all this stuff in Providence. So we're just doing a clear glass one today. Excellent. Yeah, I'm home as well. I will be moving out next week. So uh, you'll see a different background uh, next Friday. I hope you guys all tune in. So, uh, so Will, let's crack these open and uh, give them a nice review. So it clears a, it, sorry, it pours a really nice golden yellow, um, not like super hazy, super juicy, which is good. Um, you know, sometimes it can get a little bit too much if it's a little too orange. So pour is a pretty nice head, as you guys can see. Um, obviously, you want a little bit more head, but um, sometimes it's user error rather than the, the brewery. So, uh, Will, if you're ready, we'll, uh, we'll take our first steps. Yeah, cheers. Awesome. Cheers, guys. Okay. Great beer. I, I really like it. It's definitely hop forward. You can really taste the hops right as your first sip. You know, it kind of has a bite of bitter to it, which is nice, but it definitely comes out with a smooth and juicy finish. Will, what were your thoughts? I mean, you can taste the citra right away. Um, I think this is a good summer beer choice too. I feel, I feel like I feel the fruit. I feel the flavors. Um, it's nice and crisp. It's smooth. I love the color too. I mean, can't really tell the camera, but it's nice. Yeah, it's a good color. Um, I mean, do you want me to score it right now or still talk about it? Yeah, I mean, let's, let's, let's score and we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about it. So, uh, Will, you're up first. You're our guest. Yeah, I mean, I'll definitely put this in the bucket to have again. Um, I enjoyed a lot. My friend Leandro Moro, another Sigma Chi brother, shout out to him. He lives in the uh, town, so he gave me a bunch of Shoveltown uh, brewery picks. And God, I love the beer hookup. Gonna, yeah, I'm probably going to give this a 6.8 out of 10. Honestly, you were, you were right on the nose. Um, you know, I've had a lot of beers in my time. I really like the strong, juicy, hazy IPAs. You know, this definitely gets the job going. I would definitely go to the brewery at some point. Um, you know, having a pool at home right now, I'll definitely go finish this at the pool. But, you know, I'm definitely going to give it around a 6.5. Um, you know, definitely a good beer. I would definitely recommend to a friend. Um, so yeah, that's, you know, that's kind of what we thought. A little bit about the beer, 7.2% uh, ABV right now. Um, they have 50 beers on tap and some of the things are uh, sour beers. They have different wheat beers, pale ale. So if you're ever going to get over to the chance to go to Northeast in Massachusetts, you definitely got to give it a try. Um, Will, 
thank you so much for coming on. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, he's just one of many guests we'll have on. We got a few guests coming up soon. And uh, I'm very happy to be a part of the, uh, the house enterprise. And, and I look forward to, to working more with you guys. Yeah, Ryan, thanks for having us. And again, uh, check out the blog. Ryan's been doing some great content, whether it's the Frosty Boy Fridays or his own personal beer reviews that, you know, follow along suit with Boston beers. Definitely check him out. Uh, it's been a great pleasure to have you on the team and we're looking forward to this partnership and all the beers we're drinking in the future. I appreciate it. And guys, it's uh, it's houseenterprise.com. Everything will be in our links. Um, I'll tag Will. I'll tag the BBB podcast. We'll make sure that everything, you know, is accessible for you guys. But Will, again, thank you so much. And, uh, you know, uh, until next week, guys, we'll talk soon. Cheers. Take it easy.